you would be looking for a solution to host WordPress on a lifetime free hosting server. In this video, I'll explain how to install WordPress on any cloud platform using their free tiers. You do not need advanced knowledge about coding or WordPress to do this. If you are a beginner, don't worry follow the steps correctly at the beginning. This is a 100% free hosting plan. You may not charge any fees for this. I use the Docker container to host the Bitnami stack on the Oracle Cloud. I recommend you try Oracle Cloud, which provides two virtual server with one 8 Thakpu processor, 1 GB memory, and 50 GB storage. You will learn a method to increase the memory of the VM instance at the end of this video. Please, stay until the end. Let's go. Step 1. Set up VM instance and firewall rules. You have to sign up for the Oracle Cloud. If you have trouble with the Cygnip process watch first part of this video. I will put the link in the description. After the Cygnip, you can follow these steps with me. In your Oracle dashboard, click the Create a VM Instance button. Name it, use any name you prefer. Click Edit under Configure and Placement Hardware. To change the OS, click the Change Image button and select Ubuntu 20.04 as your OS. Under Network Configuration, check whether you select New Virtual Cloud Network. You have to add an SSH key for the instance. Select Paste Public Key to add the SSH key. You have to install Putty Key app to generate and connect to the VPS. Check the description for the download link. After installation of the Putty app, open Putty Key Gen. Click the Generate button and move your cursor in this area. Copy the SSH key and paste it. Click Create button to deploy the VM instance. It may take few seconds. Save the private key in a safe place. It is necessary to connect the VM instance. While VPS deploying, set up the firewall rules for the WordPress site to allow HTTP and HTTPS traffic. Under Primary VNIC, open the subnet link in a new tab. Then click on your security list. Now, click Add Ingress Rules to add new firewall rules. Add this IP as source IP. It will allow all IP ranges to connect on your WordPress site. Add 80 as the destination port. Add another ingress rule by clicking this button. Use the same IP range as above. Add 443 as destination port to allow HTTPS traffic. After that, click Add Ingress Rules to save the new rules. Now, go back to your VM instance. You can see it is running now. Let's go to the next step. Step 2. Install Bitnami WordPress on Docker. Copy public IP address of the VPS. Open the PuTTY app and paste the public IP address as the hostname, and type Ubuntu at before the IP address. Under SSH click Auth to add the private key that you previously saved. Now go back to the Session tab and save your session using any name. Then you able to connect it again without entering credentials again. Click open to enter the terminal window. You have to install Docker Engine on Ubuntu. First, update the packages of Ubuntu using this command. Use this command to download Docker installing script. Run the script using this command. Give administrator access for Ubuntu users by this command. Now you have to install Docker Compose. Use this line to load the script. 
Use this line to permit the compose. Check the Docker Compose version. Now download the Bitnami WordPress Docker image using this code. Use this command to execute the script. You can see, the installation process is beginning. It takes few minutes to complete the installation. You can find all the commands and guidelines in the description. I recommend following the guide for better understanding. I invite you to sign up for the Minex Tuts form. You can ask and answer the question about anything. Share your knowledge with others. I will put the link in the description. Now the WordPress installation is finished. Step 3. Increase memory on WordPress instance. You can use this method to increase the memory of your VM instance. This step is optional, if you want you can skip this. To see available memory and swap file size, use this command. You can see there is no swap file. Create a swap file and allocate space. I've used 1024 MB, but you can take more. Next use this line to mount it. Switch to root account to activate the swap. Use this to activate it. Next use this command. Check if it's created successfully. Check again the created main and swap size for memory. The swap file is created successfully. Step 4. Log into WordPress admin. Copy your public IP address and paste it into the user browser search box. You can see your newly created WordPress site here. Use this path to get access to the admin login area. Your default username is user and password are bitnami. Use it to login in, after that you can change it. Next buy a domain to connect this site or use a free domain. I have put a link in the description, a place to get a cheap top level domain for your WordPress site. Again, I invite you to join with Minex community to share your knowledge with others. If this video is helpful like and shares it with your friends. Subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching Minex. See you again.